Madrid is full of beautiful and colorful buildings like I don't know what to say. <laughs> Although those pieces are Spanish recipes. Okay. Hola chichos, mi drigo a Madrid, España. Ooh, guys, did I just say a word in Spanish or a sentence? <laughs> Yay, oh my god, that's so cool. I feel like I just won a lottery. Okay, guys. How are you all doing? Welcome to a new vlog. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please, 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 please hit the subscribe button below now. Welcome to the family. Thank you so much. And if you are a returning subscriber, lots of love for watching every one of my video. So guys, currently I am sitting in Lisbon, Portugal airport. I am waiting for my flight heading to Madrid and I will bring you guys along with me to this trip it's just like a one day in Madrid dance lots of love see you guys right now and madrid is going on a lockdown from 12 midnight so they have a quarantine from 12 midnight until morning so first and first i'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of where i would be staying for one night because i am heading back to paris tomorrow then i am gonna go off to the city to see the beauty it has to offer come with me let me give you guys a quick tour. I am staying in this apartment. It has gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous paintings. one night thing so i'm just staying in this the wardrobe is over here the bathroom is over here and the balcony i am not out in the city <laughs> guys so guys this is the bank of spain don't worry this is not the one they acted money eyes to it but yeah it's the bank of spain is it the biggest bank in spain this is the biggest bank in spain so guys you can see the metro station here banco de espana means bank of spain and this is the bank guys this is pablo Hello, everybody he's showing me around and we are in a square and they are acting a movie over there i'm gonna get you guys a clip i don't know if it's allowed but i'm gonna try 
So, this is the movie set, guys. You can see the camera rolling over here. You can see the crew over there. And this is the backstage. So, basically, this is a movie set. get the best view but I want to make as much as I can with my one day trip so let me give you guys a little tour of Plas the Soul. Plas the Soul is a square but this is new because this is a Christmas tree in the making so the whole reason of this place being the tourist um, location is because it's a square that people can just sit and relax and there is this waterfall here there are like all the best malls around here the street over there and this is the parliament so this is the building of the government and that's all for plus the soul square one mile in fog patches and showers early friday but improving to greater than six miles on friday morning stars shining bright above This is the Minister of Foreign Affairs but before, ages ago, it used to be called Spanish Incision. It's a place where people are tortured, Christians, especially are tortured when they are not good Christians. Crazy, right? So, if you're a Christian, you miss, you, you, you miss the church on Sunday, you're going to be brought to this court, judged and tortured. But it's been abolished now, so it doesn't exist anymore. It's now the Minister of Foreign Affairs. So, this is Old Town of Madrid. So much fog at the moment, but I'm trying my best to capture as much as possible. Towns everywhere in the world are always vintage. Can you see the streets? How vintage it looks. So this is Place de Maria. Place de Maria used to be where people were executed. So after committing a crime, they kill people in this square. So sad and it stopped in the 15th century so this is the square where they behead people oh scary so guys this is menina so this is the image of um the daughter of the kingdom of spain the companion a companion so my mistake guys Menina is not actually the daughter of the Kingdom of Spain. Menina is the girl who escorts the daughter of the king, like the companions. She's pretty, no? This is the daughter of the king and these two girls around her are Meninas. So, this is another Menina over here. Yes, we 
are having dinner right now. We're having hello. Spanish food. dinner. You said hello before. You don't have to say hello again. So this food is from Granada, right? You're from Granada, so this food is from Granada. Uh, my friend Pablo brought me to food from his village, Granada, in Spain. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Although those dishes are Spanish recipes. This, okay. This is Carlos. Carlos. Pork. Pork. Many parts of the pork with uh, sauce. It's okay. a bit spicy. Mm -hmm. And this is like fries, but the slice is different and with a sauce, and we call it patatas bravas. And the sauce is a bit spicy. Thank you. You're welcome. You still haven't tried callos. Money Iced, the movie called La Casa de Papel. This is the square. Remember the scene? Remember the scene where they were throwing money and bills? If you watch, if you watch the part where they were raining money down, this was where it happened. I am going to show you guys a scene in the movie just so you see. You can see the name, it's called Capitol. I am back home and for my first day in Madrid, even though it was night and pretty late, I had a lot of fun and tomorrow I have half day to see the city, then I'm gonna head to the airport and back to Paris. I can't wait to see the city with actual bright daylight tomorrow. So. Good night. I'm going to clean up my makeup and do my ninth skincare routine. See you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's a new day in Madrid, Spain. So I am all dressed, had breakfast, and right now I am going to check out the city. So I have half day to do that, then I am heading to the airport. Ooh, bonjour Paris soon! <laughs> Madrid is full of beautiful and colorful buildings like Madrid is such a beautiful city it is one city that everyone needs to visit at least once in their lifetime A place called Palacio Cibeles and I just arrived there and I'm gonna show you guys the beauty that this place has to offer I have seen this place online I have had this place is gorgeous beautiful breathtaking and I want to see it myself and be the judge this place looks so so magical that I feel like my camera would do no justice at all to how beautiful and magical this place is like come on guys look at this oh my god oh my god this place is beautiful This 
is what the surrounding neighborhood of the palace de Sibeles look like and here is the palace again one final view and just opposite the, pa the palace is the bank of spain over there i showed you guys earlier so this is it for this place now i am off to my next location the next beautiful thing i am going to see is this beautiful monument here this amazing and magnificent monument here called puta di alcala i'm gonna show you guys a quick view from over here i don't know if i can go down there due to covid so many things are closed everywhere in the world so i don't know if it's possible to go down there I have seen pictures online where people went all the way down there but right now there's no one down there so i don't want to be breaking the law in another man's country so i'm just gonna make a video from here oh so this is puta the alcala it's in this neighborhood and it's standing just right here gorgeous so guys, I came to this beautiful street to do a little bit of shopping, yeah. Like, when I travel, I like to shop something, always. <laughs> so I'm gonna be shopping at Beshka today. I'm just gonna get something real quick because I am losing time for seeing the city. I don't have a lot of time for my tour, so I just need to be very quick with my shopping. this coat in Lisbon, Portugal in Beska store and there is the same coat over here I, I also shop the top over there so I'm gonna look for something different <laughs> different outfit and I am leaving in a different outfit then I am off to my next sightseeing location I just arrived at my next tourist destination in Madrid that everyone needs to visit when they come to Madrid and it's called Madrid Royal Palace in Spanish they call it Palacio de Royal and this is it i'm gonna give you guys a quick tour around every part of this palace from the outside because you know there's covid and i cannot go inside at the moment this is the outside of the palace this is what the palace looks like from the outside the palace looks like this and there is a garden around it I'm gonna also show you guys the things around the garden so this is the garden outside the Royal Palace of Madrid it has all of these statues almost like everywhere in this beautiful garden there is a statue and again this is the royal palace over here welcome to the royal palace of madrid i am sitting like a queen i am what's the name of the location uh, La Cathedra Alla Modena. Yes. So, this is the cathedral from the outside, and opposite the cathedral is the backside of the Royal Palace of Madrid. I am now heading back to my Airbnb to get my bags. And I'm gonna have lunch after picking up my bags and from the restaurant where I would have lunch I would head to the airport. I have had so much fun in Madrid. Guys, my food is here. It's Spanish. I don't know the name. And 
the restaurant is so gorgeous like this restaurant is so artistic and beautiful I am running late for the airport so I need to eat quickly <laughs> made it to the airport I thought I was gonna be late but I made it I am now seated now waiting for my flight the boarding time is in 30 minutes thank you so much guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed uh, my one day in Madrid travel vlog see you guys in my next video kisses and hugs Au revoir. Okay, that's French. <laughs> I don't know what is goodbye in Spanish. I would have said that. Bye. English is always for the win. <laughs>